Well, good morning, Porch. Red Dirt Preacher here, also known as Laney. Welcome into a conscious church um, under the flag of love. One foundational. Anyway, welcome in. Hopefully you guys start putting the porch in your coffee cup when we start seeing you every morning. Um, just wanted to help make you powerful today. It dawned on me that, hmm, it, to fight the, fight the sounds of the neighborhood. Look at all these people out and early this morning. Um, it dawned on me that, you know, Olympic swimmers and, and uh, people in the genre of sports, they go to their meets, they go to their games, they go to their whatever you have it, and they, they bust their ass, they work, because that's what they're, they're there to do. They are an athlete. They're an athlete. Michael Phelps is an athlete. You know, I think about that um, controversy around Lance Armstrong. It's a name I remember. So, you know, you look at these people. You go out there to do what they do in the world and go be who they are in the world, okay? Be like the bird, because... The bird is not confused about where it belongs in the world. Just got it. Got it. Know it. So be like the bird. Know your place in the world. When athletes go and take their place in the world, um, you do not see them at that moment in, you know, at their game or at their lap or their track or their time. You don't see them messing around with with their clothing, with their with their hair, with their face. Um, politicians are like this too. Uh, when you watch politicians that that really are in you know engrossed in their speaking, and politicians still picks are always like mm, they're pointing and their faces are always like caught when they're talking. It's horrible. Um, so, you know, politicians are like that as well. They get caught not looking good. And there's websites devoted to the fact that sports players, you know, catch it in when they don't look good, catch it in when they're outfits are doing crazy things, when their faces are contorted into, you know, unhuman, you know, inhuman-like characteristics. We see this. None of them spend their time worrying about how they look and how they present and what other people are going to think of them. They don't spend their time messing with their garment, their uniform, um, you know, they just don't. They just go in there and they get it and they do not care what you see, how much you see, um, how um, vulnerable it makes them they just don't care they just get in there and get it done so I thought well wow, that's funny so like politicians and 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 um, athletes they just go in there and get it done and don't worry about their clothes and how they look and the fact that you know Michael Phelps is a swimmer in his underwear okay so he jumps in the water and swims like crazy you know he doesn't care that we're looking at him like wow that boy swim it looks like he's got a shark behind him or you know the, the fact that the water messed up his hair and um, all that is, the snot and mucus and sweat nastiness of, of, of sports, okay? These people don't care what you think. And we should take note of that and kind of bring that into our own lives. So can you imagine your life if you truly let go and didn't give a shit what other people think about? You know, when you walk into your spiritual path and walk into your spiritual journey, you're going to walk into your place in the world. You're going to be Lance Armstrong and he's on a bike. Michael Phelps is in the water. You know, so you have a place in the world. And as you get there, you know, do keep in mind how further you'll get in your track, in your race, in your game, and how further you'll get for you if you don't spend your time worrying about what other people think. Whether that's fixing your outfit or fixing your fixing how you present yourself or whatever it is. Um, it's immaterial. Stop giving a damn and go out there like sweat and mucus and, and all that, you know, messed up hair and... You know, your outfit's going to do funny things and your face is going to be contorted. Who cares? Who cares what people are going to say? Who cares what they think? You're an empathic person. You're just like an athlete. Athletes are able to do many things for the physical body. You're an empathic person and you're able to do a whole lot of plethora of things to the physical body. So get out there and get going, you know? Who cares about what kind of uniform you wear and and, and how you look when you're doing it, contort your face, go, you know, so be authentic. And let's just, you know, take a little bit of a, a lesson from those around us in the physical world and understand that here in the spiritual, as we become spiritual people, we too can be that damn authentic. We can just show up. If Michael Phelps goes to the water, Lance Armstrong goes on a bike, then you, the empath, you go out there. You go to the world, right? Mwah. Little dude drop-ins here this morning. Welcome to the porch. Church all the time. Anyway, I love you and uh, stay kind and stay out of your mind.